Let's walk through how to add items from my Google Drive to an assignment and how to use Google Assignments to make a copy for each student. First, I'm gonna begin in my modules and I'm going to add a new assignment by clicking the plus at the top of the module to which I would like to add the assignment. Click new assignment. I'm going to give this assignment a name. I prefer them to be indented when they are underneath the module heading. So I'm gonna do that and add the item. Notice this assignment is not published, but when I am finished, I can save and publish at the same time. So I'll click on the assignment. Let's start with adding items from my Google Drive into the Rich Content Editor. So first I need to click Edit. I have my Rich Content Editor installed. If your icons do not look like mine, you may need to go to your settings and turn the Rich Content Editor on. First, I'm going to create some instructions for my students. And now I'm going to add a slide deck to my Rich Content Editor by clicking the plug, which is my icon for my apps. I currently have Google Drive populating right here at the top because I have already utilized it. You will not see the same thing the first time you do this. So I'm going to hit view all. This is what it will look like for you the first time that you select the app button. So if we click then on Google Drive, it will begin to the process of connecting my drive with this assignment. And now I can add files from my drive. I can use the search bar just like I normally would. I'm just going to add some content that I have um, from quite a few years ago actually. But I'll add this slideshow. And you notice that I now have a slideshow in the portion that the students would see or read through. Now if I had an assignment that was a Google Doc that I wanted them to complete and I wanted to make a copy for each student, I'm going to come down to my settings in the assignment and I'm going to go ahead and assign my points and then for submission type, I'm going to choose external tool, I'm going to click find. I'm going to scroll down until I find Google Assignments LTI. I'm going to click continue. I need to make sure that the assign or the points that I assigned this assignment in Canvas match what they are worth in my Google assignment. I don't need to worry about a due date, I can do that through Canvas, but I need to attach the document that I have pre-created in my drive that I want to use as a template. So let's say I wanted to use my Ricky Ticky template for deconstructing the writing prompt, I would just click select and add, and now you can see that each student will get a copy of this assignment, and then I hit create. I make sure that I hit select. So then I'm going to continue down with the rest of my assignment settings. I'm going to go ahead and add a due date here in Canvas. Let's say that's Friday. And I can hit save and publish. Just to show you a little bit about how the gradebook works, if I go to my grades, this particular assignment my Google assignment points matched my Canvas assignment points. And so it auto populated my gradebook with the exact same score since they matched. Here on this assignment, where you see this five, in Google, when I created the make a copy for each student, I made it worth 50 points. But in Canvas, I only made the assignment worth 10. Then when I graded the assignment in Google, 
I gave that assignment 25 out of 50. The computer auto-populated into Canvas 50% of 10, which is 5. And so it will match the percentage if your points on the Google assignment and your points in Canvas are different, but I would highly suggest we just make those match for ease of use. And that's a little bit about adding Google and integrating the apps into your assignments and making a copy for each student. Thank you so much.